Hi, welcome to Maverio Quick Start. My name is Pablo Minigachea, and I am a Maverio expert. In this Quick Start, I'll be discussing Browser Sync, a great tool you can use to help with developing HTML5 applications for Maverio. So here's an overview of what I'll be discussing in this Maverio Quick Start. I will talk about what is Browser Sync and why you'd want to use it. Then I'll show you how to install it and get up and running with it. I'll create a very simple Hello World type application so as to demonstrate Browser Sync. And finally, I'll discuss how to use Browser Sync effectively with Maverio. So let's get started. So what is Browser Sync? Browser Sync is a Node.js application that serves as an automation tool to make web development faster. It runs a server that you pass your HTML through, and then any changes to that HTML or any interactions on your web application are triggered across multiple devices and browsers. So what that means is that you can synchronize development of your HTML on your local machine and that will automatically reflect itself on Maverio's browser. You can find the project at browsersync.io, this is our homepage here, to learn more about it. Let's take a look at how we can install and use it. So to get browser sync, we're going to use npm, which is a node package manager. This is included when you install Node. So to install Node, if you don't already have it, you can either go to their homepage at nodejs.org, or if you're on a Mac, it's pretty easy to install it using uh, Brew. So this is the Node.js website. You just go here and it'll show you the appropriate download for your system. If you're going to do it with Homebrew, this is how you install Homebrew. And then the commands you want to do if you're doing it in uh, npm, you would do npm install minus g browser sync. And if you're using Homebrew on Mac OS X, you would do brew install node. So let's just fire up a terminal. Now I already have it installed, but I will show you what the output would look like. And it'll be different if you were to do it on your system. So it basically contacts the npm registry, gets the files it needs, and then it's going to install it uh, globally. So once we have it installed globally, the next step will be to create a sample HTML project, and it'll be a very simple one. And let's see if it's installed, so I'll just do clear here. There's uh, some help information, if I do version, we'll see you using that version. And it's also a good idea to head over to their documentation section on their website, um, you know, to get the command line options and whatnot on, on running it. But let's go to the next uh, section here where I'm going to talk about how to create a sample HTML project and how to use Browser Sync with it. So now with Browser Sync installed, let's create a very simple like Hello World example here. So the HTML for this will be very simple. We're just going to set up a you know, basic body tag with the text Hello Maverio on it. And then on here on the meta, we're going to make sure that we have width uh, set to device width and the initial scale is set to 1 and user scalable, scalable set to no. So that will basically put the output of HTML to fit within the uh, screen dimensions of uh, Moverio and that allow for pinching or zooming so everything stays uh, intact. So our HTML, I already have it done, looks like this. And now I'm going to create a folder for this. So I'll just go in here and I'll create a folder called Hello Moverio. Now it's important that you have your stuff in a folder because when browser things starts, it's going to uh, serve stuff within that folder. So let's save our file now. And we'll just call it index.html. And that's all we need for this part. So now that we have a very simple HTML file done and our folder that contains it, we'll start Browser Sync to serve that folder and synchronize with it with our browser. So the command is to Browser Sync start and then hyphen hyphen server and then you pass in the files or folders that you want it to watch. So in our case, we're going to do files because we only have one file. And if we had any CSS uh, folders or sub subdirectories, we could put CSS here or JS for JavaScript or whatever you want as uh, files for it to watch. So the idea with Browser Sync is that as you make changes in your HTML, and every time you save, the browser is automatically reloaded. So let's take a look at that, how that works. So now I'll demonstrate how Browser Sync works with a very simple Hello Maverio HTML that we did. So here's our HTML. We saved it within this directory called Hello Maverio. So now in my terminal, I'm going to change into that directory. 
And once I'm in that directory, I can issue the browser sync command. So to start a server within this directory, because that's where I'm at right now, I'm going to do browser sync start server files, and it's going to serve or watch the files that are in just in this current directory. So when I hit enter, it's going to start the server, it's going to show some URLs, and it's going to automatically launch the browser with that location where it's serving this. So it's stored here at uh, localhost 300, 3000, and it launched the browser off screen, so I'll just drag it in. So this is browser sync running the server. So now watch what happens. If I delete this and I save over here, it automatically saved the file, notice that it changed, and reload it in our browser. So what that means is any development that I do locally, all devices that are that load up this local uh, localhost 3000 will automatically update. So this could be your phone, a tablet, um, a different OS, a Windows machine, for example, or of course the Moverio. So this makes it very handy to do uh, web development because any changes you make in your HTML, you can automatically see what happens on the browser. It refreshes it, or as it's called, it's a browser sync tool. So for this to work on Moverio, you would basically do the same thing. You would launch the browser Moverio, but instead of using the localhost 3000 address, you would use the assigned external address that browser sync gives. So typically it would be something like a 192 uh, dot address, which will be the the address where your Moverio is connected to on the Wi-Fi. So both your computer and your Moverio should be connected to the same Wi-Fi, so they're both on the same network. So I have a video of that, a screen recording of that working on the Moverio. And it's the same thing. I would make changes in HTML, so I'm just going to pretend I'm doing it here because this is a recording. So if I typed in hello, it would show that. If I typed in Moverio here and saved, it would synchronize in my local HTML and it would synchronize in my uh, HTML in Moverio. So here you see it says hello, I did a change, and it would synchronize here. So in this way you can do all your development, all your HTML5 application development locally, uh, test it locally, and also on the Moverio load up this address and have it synchronized there. This will save you a lot of time because you won't have to keep navigating to a URL, refreshing it on the Moverio. You'll do all your development on your computer with your hands you know, on your computer and all the de all the development will refresh itself on the Moverio, saving you a lot of time. So another neat feature that BrowserSync has is its admin UI. So instead of going to localhost 3000, if you go to localhost 3001, you're presented with this BrowserSync admin UI. So let's take a look at that. So when we launch it, it will give us the URL right here. We can load it in our local machine or in a remote machine. For our, in our case, we want to do the local machine that makes the most sense. So here we have it. So as you can see, it's showing us what the URLs are for the local and external. And up here, we can do, for example, reload all, and that will trigger a refresh on the connected devices. So if the Moverio was going to the remote address, it would refresh it there. If you do any kind of clicking on links, or scrolling on, for example, this browser, it will mirror that on the Moverio. Or if you do any form inputs, etc. So it's a it's a great way for synchronizing and having an admin page for all your synchronization in browser sync. So that concludes this Moverio quick start on using browser sync. In this quick start, we covered how to use browser sync, how to install it and why you'd want to use it to help with your HTML5 application development on Moverio. If you found this quick start helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any feedback or ideas for other quick start or other content you'd like to see, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you'd like to contact me, you can find me on Twitter. My handle is Hololeo. Thanks a lot.